What does that even mean, Bowers Game Cornar? Oh, hi there, YouTube. We're back again today for another game review. Today, I'm very excited to share about Laser Maze Jr. from Think Fun. This is for ages six plus. It's for one player. It'll take you well. It's going to take you quite a few hours to complete if you're a younger one. And in Laser Maze Jr., you are going to be trying to guide a laser through a maze. Uh, this is not really a game or as a gamey activity that a, a young one's going to be able to play, but you're also probably going to be helping them along the way. It does require some batteries because you're going to be pew, shooting the laser, trying to get it from point A to point B, and sometimes even to point B and C. But what am I talking about? Let's open it up and I'll tell you about it. All right, then. We're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Laser Maze Juniors. First and foremost, we have a handy dandy rule book that's 15 pages, double-sided, full color, full pictures, illustrations, examples, all the good stuff you like to see in a well done rule booklet and it is a well done rule booklet you'll probably need it once or twice never need it again because it's incredibly simple i also like the fact that they have all the solutions in the back if you can't figure out how it is but granted if you're an adult you probably won't need that so we're going to go over the contents and then we're going to go over how you play the game so in this game you're trying to shoot your laser which is right there as you can see and you're going to try and light up these rockets right here so you can light up the rockets because you put it right there then boom the top lights up and the rocket launches off and if you're playing with kids you go Phew, and you launch it off because that's what you do with kids yeah come on uh so what are you going to get you're going to get mirrors mirrors and more mirrors you're going to get five mirrors right here and i do want to point out that the box insert is very nicely done very nice box insert it fits everything perfectly it looks really well uh, big thumbs up on that but you're going to have mirrors right here which you will place in various different spots and then it will shoot the lasers to various different other spots like right there so those are going to be pretty self-explanatory mirrors. Now next, you're also going to have rocks. What do rocks do? Well, they block your light. That's about it. That's all they do. They're just there to get into your way. They're not. Uh, they're not see-through or. Uh or, or mirror or anything like that. Last but not least, you're going to have your most interesting piece, which is going to be a two-way mirror, which will now make things go through it, as you can see right there, and then also it will go over to the side, and that is uh, where the complexity of the game is going to come into play. So you're going to get all those pieces, and last but not least, you're going to get 40 different maps that you're going to try and do, and the maps are very easy to understand once you slide them in there. So you'll go from 1 to 40, start off easy, go uh, all the way to hard. So as you can see, on this one uh, you're going to need one purple mirror and this is the uh, the alignment the setup that you're going to have so what you do is you're going to slide it right in over here now this is one thing I forgot to mention in the cons it's a little bit difficult to find where you slide it in from time to time it's not really evident but it's, it's not a big deal breaker at all and then you're going to set up the rocket right there on the spot where it is and make sure that the uh, the red side corresponds with the red side right there and now you are going to use one mirror and try to set that rocket off which obviously for us is incredibly simple because boom you just put it right here and blue rocket goes pew. but for kids this is just them learning how to grasp how to do things you turn the laser off and you would flip this over and now you would go over to the next side which is again another easy one on this one you're actually going to be trying to get two rockets to go off using one two-way mirror so i'll show you how that works real quick because it is uh you can probably already figure it out before i even set it up but we'll grab the pieces and set it up regardless or irregardless i don't know how to use that word so let's just pretend like i never did we'll turn on the laser and as you can see one of them's already lit up but luckily we have our two-way mirror and bada boom kids are hopefully learning how the two-way mirrors work because both those launch off so we'll just skip all the way to uh, the, the 30s so you can see what a more difficult one is going to look like. And we'll just jump to, say, 33 and see if we can figure this one out really quickly. Because I've figured them all out, so it shouldn't be too hard, right? So we're going to need four mirrors. So we'll get out all four of these mirrors right here. One, two, three, four. And then one mirror is going to be placed right here. Uh, we are going to have a black rock right there because it's denoted by the black spot. And then we're going to have a rocket right here, a rocket right there, and our two-way mirror in place like this. So right now, all, we have a laser that is shooting into this mirror and uh, hitting this rock right here. So we need to use all four of these, and you have to use all of them to try and figure out how we can light these guys up. So let's see. I think I'm going to need to do this. So we're going to need to bounce it back. So now the light's going pew, 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 and it's shooting all the way over here. Let's see. I think maybe, hmm. This is a trickier one. Let's see. I got an idea. Maybe we'll go like this. So now the the, the laser's going pew, 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 pew. It's over here. Let's see if this is going to work. Now we're shining it over here. Is this going to work? No, it's not. No, it's not. 
So we plate that, put that one there, and we have successfully lit up one, but not the other. So let's try it again. Hmm, we have this rock right here, which is the problem. We can't move this two-way mirror, because we need to get the two-way mirror. So I think we're on the right track, though. So let's, let's try this. Let's see if that works. No. So now we have it going here and here. Nope, that's not going to work either. Wow, this is uh, this is pretty terrible. This is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> so let's see, is that going to work? No, that's not going to work either. Well, I'm not sure. Let's see if we can look in the rule booklet and find the solution because apparently I'm too much of a noob to figure this out when I'm on camera. So let's see. I will look up the exact solution and I will put it in. So we set it up like this and uh, 33. Hmm. So we're on the right track. That goes right here. This goes right there. Oh, yep. Yeah, there it is. And bada boom. Let's see if that works. And lucky they have both of them light up because laser goes boom, 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 boom. So yeah, there it lights up. Both these rockets launch off. And apparently I might be incorrect about them being too easy for kids, but I still have finished them all before. But that in a nutshell is how Laser Maze Jr. is played. Alrighty then, Laser Maze Jr. from Think Fun. What about huh? Let's go to the pros, let's go to the cons. First on the cons side, the game's not going to be for everybody for a variety of different reasons. First and foremost, it's not really a game as much as it is a puzzle, which is going to be a turn off to some people. Also, it is solo. Now, I will say if you have younger kids, it's not really solo because they're going to need your help. So it's more like a two-player endeavor where you can help them out and help them understand and grasp the concepts and get better and scaffold. That's a teaching term for you. Uh, but yes, it is still solo, which is going to be a turn off to some people. Also, minor nitpick, it requires batteries, and you'll get it home, and you'll be excited to play, your kids will be excited to play, and you're like, oh, we don't have AAA batteries, and you'll want to chuck it through the roof. Uh, it's not a huge deal, but, you know, just a game that requires batteries and doesn't include them. It's a little bit of a nuisance, in my personal opinion. Um... Any other cons I have? It's a little bit difficult to find the side insert uh, when you're putting them in, but that's really not here nor there. Oh, and another big con is that once a kid gets once a kid gets done with all 40, they're pretty much going to be done with it for a for a good deal of time. Because once they get to 40, you can't really go back to one and replay it because it's going to be in way too simple for you. Last con I have is it's Junior. It's Laser Maze Junior, so I would not really recommend this for adults because it is more on the simple side. Even though in that example in the middle, I was having a lot of issues doing number 33 but I assure you if I would have had say five minutes to myself and I wasn't on camera and pressured to finish it I could have figured that out no problem but that's what I got on the con say moving on to the pro side I really enjoyed laser maze jr. and I consistently like these that, that think fun puts out they just put out great little puzzly games like this um, where does this one rank I don't think I like it as much as gravity maze but I really enjoy this one I also did a minecraft one review which was a uh, uh, code master I enjoyed that one I think I enjoyed that one and this one about on the same part but why do I like this game first and foremost it's it's just a fun little puzzle game. It, it, I brought it into my classroom. It does not work with three and four year olds quite yet, but five year olds start to grasp those concepts and they really enjoy making the lasers shoot in different places. The laser's really cool because I mean, lasers are cool. And then the theme, while it is completely transparent, of launching off rockets and you get into it and you say, and, and as soon as they get it and you start doing the countdown, it's like 10, 9, 8, and you make the rockets launch off. If you really get into the theme of this game, the kids are really going to enjoy that. And they really like the sense of satisfaction of being able to get the laser from here to here to here to here and when they get to the more complex ones and it's like like the 33 where lasers are just beep, 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 bouncing off all sorts of mirrors they think that's really cool because well it is really cool to play with lasers and that's just the bottom line here playing with lasers is cool and if you have kids I'd say ages from 5 to 12 maybe a little bit older I didn't get to play with anybody older than that aside from myself I definitely could recommend Laser Maze Jr. as a fun, puzzly game activity. Another thing that I liked about this is it is solo playable. So if you have older kids in, say, the 7, 8, 9 range, they can definitely play this by themselves. And just, you know, this thing can eat away, you know, probably an hour for a kid. No problem. I mean, it's... It's a lot of fun. It's going to take you quite a good deal of time to get through all 40 of them. And it's just, just really well built, really well made, and one I can highly recommend if... If, and that's a big if,
you're in the market for this sort of thing if you, if you have kids of that age range. If you're an adult, you're probably going to want to steer clear of this, even though I would like to try out Laser Maze, just the regular one, uh, the one that's not for juniors, because I bet that's pretty complex. I know Gravity Maze is. But anywho, that's Laser Maze Jr. from ThinkFun, one I definitely can recommend. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below, and in the comments below, let me know what is your experience with lasers. Do you like lasers? Well, yeah, of course you like lasers, because they're freaking awesome, but what's your experience with lasers? My coolest thing, one of the coolest things I ever purchased was a laser pointer off of eBay when I was 18 years old for like $112. It's this green, it shoots out this green laser that you can see from no exaggeration a block away. I can literally hit someone's house at nighttime from a block away and see it very clearly. And I've had so much fun messing with people with that over the last 11 years. I can't wait to let my kid, uh, yeah, it's just so much fun. I also remember having in the 90s when lasers just got huge. I remember when people used to shine them on athletes and wrestlers and uh, stadiums and they started to start outlawing lasers. And they had those lasers with like the screw on attachments at the end so you could make a laser look like a kitty cat or a star or a skull. Man, I love lasers, those are so awesome. Uh, but what are your experience? What are your thoughts on lasers? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.